It's time for the Coach's Corner Show with your host, Pat DiCibato. Hello and welcome to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. I'm your host, Pat DiCibato from the Daily Southtown Newspaper. And we are at the Beggar's Pizza location, 127th Street and Kedzie Avenue, right across the street, coincidentally, from my beloved alma mater, Eisenhower High School. We're going to have on... Boys basketball coach Neil Magez of the Cardinals. It's the second season. Ed Ike coming off a 14 and 13 season a year ago. Cardinals are, have five starters we replaced, but Coach Magez is confident that they're going to be a very competitive club this year. So, what better way to kick off the boys basketball season than having on the Cardinals? So, that's what we're going to do, folks. Uh, sit back, enjoy the show. We are going to go to a Beggar's Pizza timeout. Remember, go to beggarspizza.com, jump on their loyalty program, Big Cheese Club. Plenty of perks to be had. Definitely worth it. All right, folks, we come back. Eisenhower Boys basketball coach Neil Magez will be on. We're talking Cardinals boys hoops. Stay tuned. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. Hello, boys. I'm a drop-dead gorgeous pepperoni sausage whole the vegetables deep dish pizza. Mmm, -hmm. just look at my cheese. Your place or mine. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. For more than 25 years, Midwest Orthopedic Consultants has been dedicated to providing comprehensive orthopedic excellence. The physicians at Midwest Orthopedic Consultants, with convenient locations in Orland Park and Oak Lawn, have received specialized training in subspecialty areas, allowing them to treat even the most complicated orthopedic conditions. X-rays and MRIs are available at both facilities, allowing patients to get everything completed in one location the same day. Ortho Urgent Care is provided Monday through Thursday between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. and Saturdays from 8 a.m. till noon at their Oak Lawn location. Midwest Orthopedic Consultants. Having surgery or dealing with some type of nagging pain that limits your function? Then get to athletics. We offer treatment for all types of orthopedic injuries, work-related injuries, and sports injuries. Therapists with over 20 years of experience provide treatment that is efficient and effective. Our 2,000 square foot clinics offer state-of-the-art equipment from HydroTrack, Blankenship, and Biodex. If your doctor suggests physical therapy, then you suggest athletics, where every patient is treated like a champion. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. And it's hoop season, folks, believe it or not, and we're kicking it off with a little cardinal love. Eisenhower boys basketball coach Neil Magez. Back on board, Neil. Yep, yep, for sure am. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, man. <laughs> Second season as head coach, mm -hmm. and you're two for two on the Coach's Corner. <laughs> it, it pays to know people. It pays to you know, know people I mean? who went to Eisenhower, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it helps. It definitely it sure helps, does. though, my man. But sure does. Looking forward to seeing the Cardinals this season, 14-13 uh, and 13 last season. Mm -hmm. You lost all five starters, mm -hmm. though, right? So what can fans expect out of the, the fighting cards this <sighs> season? Yeah, we lost five, and it wasn't just five starters. I mean, they played, those five played probably, you know, 28 to 32 minutes every time. Like, they played a lot. Um, there were two guys who got some decent time. One of them's back, one of them's not. Um, so I think we, we counted up, me and my assistant coach, and we have like 120 points coming back from total this points, year. Total, total points. points. 120 total points, which ain't <laughs> a lot. But, um, it, I mean, that's almost, you know, lots of teams around the area, you know, so everyone has those problems, and it's that's what summer ball is for and fall ball and all these things like this where they've been putting in some work. And uh, I, I told them the other day, like, if we keep practicing the way we've been lately, yep. that we could surprise some people because... I think we have enough there to compete with a lot of teams. So yeah, you got I'm some excited. talent. Excited. So who are some of the key players that really need to step up for you guys to kind of reach your goals? Well, yeah. our most experienced player and uh, the one who got the most time last year, he's played, this will be his third year he's played for me now, is Aaron Sanders. Um, he's our most talented player. He does a lot of things for us offensively, defensively. He needs to be a better leader sometimes, we tell him. Yeah. Um, three-year guy. Yeah, three-year guy, and he knows me and, and everything. So he's, he's our he's our our post guy and then um, we got a transfer to Ron Windham from yep. uh, from he came from Sandberg he was with us as freshman now he's back he's our point guard he could score he's got to take care of the ball a little better uh, yeah. like a lot of point guards do um, but he, he's, he's working his butt off that kid is the first one here 
last one to leave all nice. summer, never late. And then our center, our captain, Michael Basta, um, he's had some things, same thing. He's played for me three years. He didn't play a lot last year, but just one of the smartest kids I've ever coached. He picks up nice. everything, and, you know, he's the anchor of our defense. And, yeah, he'll, he'll be a big part. So those are the three main guys. Yeah, I would say those are. And the first, uh, you got the point guard, and the first kid, uh, he's a guard as well? He's our three slash four, so he can, he can play multiple positions. Good. Yeah. Okay. Um, who do you see, what, even a guy that, uh, you know, maybe a sophomore or something, who do you see that might be on the verge of, you know, breaking out a little bit here that could make a name for himself? We got a sophomore up, and he played freshman last year. Um, but we have him up on varsity. He's one of our most skilled players. Um, okay. He's got he's got a long way to go with learning and things like that. But he's working his butt off, and he kind of coasted a lot last year. We thought as a freshman, and it, we brought him up in the summer just to see. And he stepped up to his competition. Like he's that type of player who who wants to play up to competition. And he, right now he's starting for us, and he's going to get significant minutes. So he should be pretty good. Um, Got another junior, Del Norris Pippen, who, got, who was their best player last year as a sophomore. He can help us. We got a football kid coming over, big Ray Sean Shandon. Hey, Sean Shandon, that he's boy a, is like six seven, yeah. three bills, he, folks. He's he's a big boy. He's he's a lot to move, and he, he's hurting some people in practice. <laughs> he's like that, job. and he's picking up things quick um, for not playing for us. You know, it's significant because he he kept trying freshman sophomore year never happened, and now this year he seems committed, and he and he's he's a he's a he's a force. Yeah, yep. um, and then another. Another senior, Josh McCampbell, who's who's came a long, long way for us, and now he's starting and getting significant minutes for us too. And how, you know what? How are these guys? Because some of these guys were around for Curta mm -hmm. with the whole you know fast-paced craziness. Mm -hmm. How have they adapted? How's the transition been? Because you're playing a little bit more of a conventional style yeah. of basketball. So how's how has that gone? Oh, none of, there's no, that, well, sorry. Last year's group was the last year that played for Curta. None of the seniors now were ever up on um, varsity, up, so they so. all played for me, uh, which we did a little bit of uh, the Grinnell system, but for the most part, they, yeah, they're all used to me. Like, they could run practice, like, even if I wasn't there by now, some of those kids, you yeah. know, from summer for three years and fall and everything that they, they've been taking part of. Yeah, they've so not a factor at all? Yeah, not, not, not anymore. Last year was a little bit, not this year anymore. Did Curta give you any of his pants? <laughs> I wore for Curtis one of his last games. I, as a sophomore coach, I wore a pair of pants for him, and I'll never do that again. They could so. be, you know, consider them maybe like streak busters. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> he maybe. wore them. Me and him, we wore them <laughs> pants on this show uh, a few yeah. years back. But he's doing well. Huh? Yeah, yeah, he's doing, doing well. He's doing real good. Tell the man, the myth, the legend. I said hello. Yeah, okay. Will. Um, in the South Suburban Conference, you know, we talked about it a little bit before we started taping, but mm -hmm. um, you guys are in the red. And, uh, you know, Richard, ZP, how's it shaking? What's it looking like in the red? Yeah, I would say it, when you talk to other coaches around here that Richards and EP would be the, the favorites. Richards has Catledge, who's the player of the year in our conference, and he's back. Um, and they got some young pieces around him that are back, along with a new coach. New coach. Uh, yeah, new coach and new system and things, so he could surprise a lot of us with that. And then Evergreen, that group's been together for a while. They've played together for a while. They got some height. They got some athletes. They got a lot of people who can take care of the ball. I would see. I would say on paper, those two teams. Those are, are the top two teams. Yeah, and your alma so. mater with Brian Charles Seymour was a nice mm -hmm. player, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know how much they've got uh, around him. Yeah. But you know, and there are some new coaches involved in, in the conference this year. But uh, yeah, I mean, you guys you consider it a success. You fin finish in the upper half. Yeah, uh, that's this a, thing, that's, right? That's always the goal. Top, the top three. Uh, you know, we we just reached that goal last year. We're definitely trying to do that again. Hopefully, you know, you never know. We could surprise some teams. We, you know, I, I feel we could beat anybody. But I, you know, anyone could beat us. You know, we yeah. have that talent to where we could compete. But we don't have it where we just show up and beat people. So we got to work every time. And yeah, never know. Um, now, just being your third, second year okay. as head coach, what has been the biggest surprise as a varsity head coach? What has kind of caught you a little bit off guard? Uh, biggest surprise is just them changing a lot as as men. Like when I co, I was used to coaching the sophomores, and it's just you're dealing with young kids then, yep. and you know they're, they're scared. scared yeah, they're immature, but they're 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 scared of you. You know, you say jump, they they say how yeah. high, and, <laughs> and they're they're scared of that. And now these kids, especially the ones who've been playing for me for two or three years, you know. You know, sometimes I'm yelling and they they know when to, and then other times they're like, "All right, coach, we know we know you, we know right. you're just trying to get us going and things like that." And then you know, now they have their girlfriends and they're driving and they just they're a different age level and th then I was used to dealing yeah. with the sophomores, so that's a little bit of adjustment. But I mean, they're 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 kids, and I've dealt you know I'm a teacher and I've dealt with all kinds of kids, different ages, but. That's it. Not a big, not too many big surprises. I'm like scheduling or anything like that. It's been pretty 
No, I mean, I was a head coach for cross country, so I know how yeah, to do the head true. coach stuff, scheduling, things like that, and yeah. parent stuff, and, and, and parties, and all different stuff like that. So I knew the, the head coach part of it. Yeah. And, you know, basketball, I've been coaching for a long, long time. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Not a big, big not, transition. Not a big it. transition. Not a the, only, the only thing I tell a coach all the time is just, is just the film. Sophomore, when you're coaching sophomores, you don't have to watch film. You know, you, sh you, you take it when you can get it, but you very rarely do. Right. Now watching two, three, four films on any team you play, that gets you know that's exhausting yeah. that's the only part where i'm like oh god i wish i was a sophomore coach but, yeah. but other than that yeah nothing no, not a ton different i would say okay all right folks we are going to go to a lisa thomas salon timeout remember uh kids high school kids in particular 27 dollars haircut for girls 17 dollars haircut for boys just show your uh, high school id at lisa thomas salon in mokina orland tinley park Nice stocking stuff for holidays are right around the corner. A little gift card from Lisa Thomas, Lon, Baggers, wherever. All right, we come back more with Coach McGuez. We're talking uh, Eisenhower Cardinal hoops. Stay tuned. It's time, your time. Look renewed. Feel rejuvenated. Visit Lisa Thomas Salon. Whether it's a new hairstyle, expertly applied makeup, skin treatments, or nail services, our professional stylists are up to date on all the latest techniques and styles to help you achieve the look you've always wanted. Find the you you deserve. Your transformation begins at Lisa Thomas. Bob's Auto Body and Repair in Blue Island has been prospering since 1968 when Robert Warnick Sr. opened a business. Bob's goal? To go above and beyond to satisfy their customers. Whether it's a small ding or a major collision repair, Bob's is a trained technician and state-of-the-art equipment to meet the high standards their customers expect and that Bob's demands. Bob's also offers complete mechanical services for your automobile, from an oil change to brake repairs. Mention this ad, Bob's will detail your car for free with any auto body work or give you a free oil change with any mechanical work. Bob's Auto Body and Repair, Blue Island. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. If you're just joining us, uh, we have Neil Magez, head coach, Eisenhower Boys Basketball, and we have another guest, uh, medium cheese and sausage pizza, compliments of Beggar's Pizza. Neil and I are going to try our best to refrain from digging in right here. It's the way a little while. Okay? Just, just got no in practice. <laughs> I, could, I could eat. You could eat. All right, we'll take care of that afterwards. So just... Uh, Show some restraint, all right? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. All right, so big night this Friday at Eisenhower. Uh, you guys are hosting a little Eisenhower boys basketball alumni game. Mm -hmm. I saw a list of players. There's some intriguing names on there. Mm -hmm. Kind of love. You got probably two of the greatest. Well, I'd say top three greatest. I'm going to throw Chris Hobson in there, though he's injured and mm -hmm. probably will not participate, but he, hopefully he'll attend. But you've got Quinn Richardson. Mm -hmm. Uh, who went on to start, he's, he's known as the Apple, Quinn Apple Richardson at Eisenhower. Great, great shooting guard, went on to be a captain at the University of Illinois uh, men's basketball team back in the day, late 70s, early 80s. And then you have the great Bernard Campbell. Mm -hmm. All right, Bernie Campbell, phenomenal player, who now is employed at District 218. Mm -hmm. And those guys have come back to the Eisenhower alumni golf outing in the last couple of years. And they've had the time in their lives, and great to see them. And I'd like to see those two guys kind of square off a little bit, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, though they're, you know, they're in their 50s now, yep. it, it still would be a, a very entertaining situation. They're, they're going to be the captains, so they're going to be they're going to be the ones, you know, separate teams, picking the teams, and. I, they both told me, yeah, I want to do warm-ups. I might get out there a little bit, but I was, you know, once juices start flowing, I'm, you know, I'm sure they're going to want to stay out there and do their best for sure. So That's uh, nice. So. Who, whose brain trust was this? Who started this thing? I, I saw this. I, I couldn't remember what school it was. Um, might have been Oak Forest, something like that. It was before our game, and I heard it one time. You know, alumni game was this Saturday after blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that, that's something that needs to be done. Like, I was yeah. thinking, like, if Revis was doing this, I would go back every year and train for it for <laughs> <laughs> two months. You know, I would love it. Yeah. So I was like, who wouldn't want to do this? Um, and being a coach in there for 10 years now, I'm like, I know I could get these younger kids, you know, from 22, 24 years old and yeah. get a hold of them. I still, you know, text them at Christmas and Thanksgiving, so I knew I could get a bunch of them, which there's about 15 of them. And then my, my problem was, though, reaching out 
so some of those guys. So Bernie was really good with that because he works at Eisenhower. Um, I got in contact with the uh, who do, who does the Eisenhower alumni golf outing. He actually helped out a lot. Uh, was it Mike Siebert, my buddy Mike? Yeah, yeah. I believe so. He okay. sent out an email to a lot of those alumni. I posted on my Twitter and things like that, and then they Next all started you know. contacting me to where I, I started having to turn some people down. Yeah, because we had thirty. And I'm like, I don't That's want 50 enough, people because then people are going to be upset, you know, that they're right. not playing a second, things exactly. like that. So. so that's awesome. That is this Friday, 6 p.m. at Eisenhower. And then they're going to have a little post-game celebration up at the double play mm -hmm. on Western. So mm -hmm. that will be nice. Yeah. That, that, that's yeah. awesome, man. I hope you'll be able to stop, stop down and check that out. Um, <laughs> now, you know, the, the basketball program, we mentioned Quinn Richardson and, and Bernard Campbell and Chris Hobson was – a single game scoring record at Eisenhower. I think it was 52 or 53 points against mm -hmm. Rich East. I was actually covering that game. Um, I mean, did these guys, the current group of players, Neil, do they realize, you know, the tradition there and some of the, you know, greatest players in South Suburban history have come out of Eisenhower I, or no? I don't, I don't think they do. We try and, you know, they walk down and, and uh, Dr. Weber does a great job in the school of putting, you know, all our different pictures up and things like that. But I think they kind of just walk by and they're used to and, yep. you know, see the conference title and we try showing them, you know, and, you know, these are the champions. These are this. This is an all-state guy. You know, what does it take to be this? And, you know, they know the local, like the last kids who five, six years who play in at the yeah. Salvation Army and things like that. But I don't think uh, this just a younger generation yeah, knows a lot a, about the past. It's a know? generational thing, man. They are yeah. not history buffs, yeah, that's for exactly. sure. Uh, it would have been interesting if you could have got Drennan Jones back and Troy Hubbard, a couple of those guys. Those are two guys I'm going to have to try and help you work on getting those guys yeah. back because those are not, uh, from the late 80s, early 90s, and they, they were tremendous players. I, Man, I know Drennan's still in shape. Yeah. I don't know about <laughs> Troy, but I know, I know Drennan Jones is still in shape. Yeah, that's this, for this sure. is something I want to do every year. So they always say the first one's the hardest, you know, yep. so get that, and now word gets out, and, you know, more and more next few years. You know, yep. I'd love to do this every year. Good. So, and what about your lower levels? You know, what do you think? I know you got the, the one. So what's the sophomore you having up? He's starting? Uh, Eddie, Eddie Moore. So Eddie Moore yeah. is starting. He's coming up. How are your freshmen and sophomores? Uh? Sophomore group uh, on the show last year, I was talking about them as freshmen and said we're really excited about them. We are. We have, we have a lot of pieces there um, who are excited. There's a couple who could be up, you know, who have the potential to beat out juniors and seniors, but it's so close. We kind of want to keep them down and let yep. them develop fully. Um, but, yeah, there's, there's a lot of good pieces there. You have some numbers out for the freshman team this year? Freshman team, team, there's about 35, 40 that tried oh, out. Wow. Not huge, um, about where it's been. But, yeah, there's some nice freshmen there. And um, that I've, I've known a bunch of them because ever since I took over, I'm trying to reach out to the, to the uh, feeder right. schools. And then yep. those coaches there are doing a great job at Veterans and Hale and things and giving me their schedules. I get to go to their games, and we run our youth camps, so they come in. So it's nice when they come in, and we already know them, and they know me, and yep. they know my staff. You know, it's, it's been it's part great. of the gig, man. Yeah. You, know, you, got, you got to do it. It's you a fun part of the gig. Then, you know, they get to know you as kids, and they, you know, just like I looked up to my coach my whole life, like you hope that they do too. Yep, you know, absolutely. Play hard for you. Now, one of the things that isn't so much fun is social media. Mm -hmm. You guys have a, you, you talk to these kids and you mm -hmm. tell them, man, to be smart and mm -hmm. don't do anything stupid, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's. Yeah, so and I, I was just, I just had this talk. Um, last week with my kids because we have this thing called the 218 Code of Conduct where it's not even up to me what kind of suspensions or different things I want for kids. If they do something, it's by the book. Okay, this is four games. This is a third of your season, blah, 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 from there. And just tell them, like, it's, you know, not like I would ever say, okay, you can do these things, but it's not, it's not in my hands. It's right. in the districts, which, you know, takes pressure off of us as coaches. Um, but talking to them about social media, I, I have a simple rule. I tell them, if I had a billboard right outside my house, you know, and you posted it, and I saw it, and, and I see it, that's, and, and I got mad at it, then you shouldn't post it. If exactly. I didn't care, then whatever. You know, you post pictures of you and your girlfriend, or, you know, even if you swear, you know, would I, would I be, the, you know, extremely upset? No, you know, that stuff, whatever. But if you're attacking someone or bullying right. someone or... Embarrassing the program. Embarrassing, school, yeah, the school family, or, right? or, you know, being at an inappropriate place or things like that where I see it, which yeah. I'm gonna, and I, I follow all them on Twitter. Yeah. That's my rule. I'm like, if I ever find out that you have a Twitter and I don't know about it, you know, there's gonna be a problem. So yep. what are you trying to hide from me? So yeah, it's tough, tough, man. It's always a scare. It's, it's a different generation, yeah. And the one, uh, one last thing, Eisenhower, man. I mean, obviously I'm partial, I'm biased. But, I mean, the campus never has looked, looked better. It mm -hmm. looks beautiful. The athletic facilities, the new weight room, awesome. You got a new principal over there mm -hmm. right now. Um, 
I mean, do you sense that there's some pride in these kids, you know, to be a Cardinal in, in 2016 or yeah, what, man? Yeah, I mean, we hope so. Um, we, we try to get the older guys to, to teach the younger kids and things like that, especially in our sport programs and things. We try to do a lot of things like that together. Yeah, I mean, our facilities now are, are just getting better and better. The baseball yeah, field and yeah. the, weight, the weight, room, weight room I was, you know, crying about for years and years and years, and they, they did an amazing job with that. You walk through and it looks great. And things. Yeah. And yeah, I think, I mean, just even something with that, the weight room used to always be a mess and now like kids are you know they're hey clean this up clean this up taking you know, they're pride. taking pride and then and, yeah. and the, the kids like that and we just got you know new sweatsuits and new this and new that and the kids yeah they they i think they take pride in that's that for awesome. sure that's good to hear mm -hmm. all right neil well, i look forward to coming out and checking out the cardinals this year mm -hmm. and we should mention eisenhower is hosting next next week monday tuesday wednesday friday uh district 218 boys basketball tournament Cardinals open up Monday against Marist. Eisenhower's hosting on one side, Richards on the other. Good times to be had by all. And good luck. All right, Neil? All right, thank all you. All right, my man. Appreciate it. All Thanks right, folks. We are going to go to an athletics timeout. We return, go over some results, football results, and a little volleyball and players of the week. Stay tuned. Having surgery or dealing with some type of nagging pain that limits your function? Then get to Athletics. We offer treatment for all types of orthopedic injuries, work-related injuries, and sports injuries. Therapists with over 20 years of experience provide treatment that is efficient and effective. Our 2,000 square foot clinics offer state-of-the-art equipment from HydroTrack, Blankenship, and Biodex. If your doctor suggests physical therapy, then you suggest Athletics, where every patient is treated like a champion. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. I'm a half sausage for you and your husband and a half just cheese for the kids, who never seem to stop moving. Go ahead and take the night off, Mom. I got you covered. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. For more than 25 years, Midwest Orthopedic Consultants has been dedicated to providing comprehensive orthopedic excellence. The physicians at Midwest Orthopedic Consultants, with convenient locations in Orland Park and Oak Lawn, have received specialized training in subspecialty areas, allowing them to treat even the most complicated orthopedic conditions. X-rays and MRIs are available at both facilities, allowing patients to get everything completed in one location the same day. Ortho Urgent Care is provided Monday through Thursday between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. and Saturdays from 8 a.m. till noon at their Oak Lawn location. Midwest Orthopedic Consultants. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. Look at this, the missing piece. Darn Coach McGez took off with a piece of our pizza, me and Gerard. Now we're down a piece. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Coach McGuess did not take that piece. Gerard took that piece, my cameraman. So, all right, folks, we are uh, at the results segment right now, sponsored by our good buddy Tom Mulvey at Athletic Sports and Orthopedic Physical Therapy, locations in Oak Lawn and Orland Park. We're going to have time on in a few weeks. All right, results segment. Folks, three weeks ago, when the playoffs started, the Southland had 20 teams qualify, 20 football teams qualify for the playoffs. We are down to one, and that one team is St. Lawrence. Big win by the Vikings Saturday, Class 6A quarterfinal over Lamont, 27-20. I was at the game, great crowd, tremendous crowd uh, for Lamont. Spencer Nagel, 22 of 38, 221 yards and a touchdown. Brett Bolin had a six-yard TD reception. Jake Kirkman, nine-yard TD run. Steve Fleming hit field goals from 34 and 37 yards for Lamont. Finished the season 11-1, great season uh, by the Indians. For St. Lawrence, Faison Smart, 38 uh, Carries 175 yards and a touchdown. Levi Hamer, 19 and 34 yard TD catches. Romello Washington was 11 of 18 for 176 yards and two touchdowns. Mauricio Garibay with field goals from 22 and 24 yards out. St. Lawrence travels to Springfield Saturday, 2 p.m. kickoff. They've got Sacred Heart Griffin. Be there, be square. And the Class 8A quarterfinal, Lincoln Way East suffered a tough one, man. 34 31 loss to Maine South for Lincoln Way East. Nigel Muhammad, 24 carries, 58 yards, four touchdowns. Ryan Sienna, 13 carries, 54 yards. Jake Arthur, 7 of 18, 157 yards. And Jeremy Nelson, two catches for 79 yards for the Griffins, who finished 9-3 and three on the season. Prep Bowl playoffs. Mount Carmel, 35. 
Brother Rice, 28. For Mount Carmel, Alec Thomas had a couple rushing TDs. Michael Kenny uh, had over 200 yards rushing. For Brother Rice, Dino Borelli had two touchdown passes, and he also had a touchdown catch for the Crusaders. And I want to extend congratulations out. Class 4A girls volleyball, Mother McCauley, state champions. Congrats to the Mighty Max, their 15th state championship. And in Class 3A girls volleyball, congratulations to Marion Catholic. The Spartans win uh, the Class 3A girls volleyball state championship. So outstanding for both of them. The Labriola Bakery Cafe Golden Baguette Player of the Week. We're going to hook up St. Lawrence running back Faison Smart, 175 yards rushing on 38 carries to lead the Vikings to a 27-20 win over Lamont in the Class 6A quarterfinals. Hook them up with a nice $25 gift card. Compliments to Labriola Bakery Cafe. Lisa Thomas Salon, Teen Club Player of the Week. Marion Catholic's Rachel Chirilla, 12 digs to lead the Spartans to the Class 3A state championship over Marion Central. All right, we're going to a Labriola Bakery Cafe timeout. We come back high and tight. Stay tuned. Looking for a unique dining experience with incredible food? Then check out Labriola Bakery Cafe. Opened by Rich Labriola, Chicago's premier artisan baker, you know they'll have great bread, but you won't believe the rest of their menu. Wood-fired Neapolitan pizzas, fresh pasta, and their world-famous Richie Burger. There's also homemade gelato, and of course, their famous bread. Labriola Bakery Cafe and Neapolitan Pizzeria. Conveniently located in the Oak Brook Promenade. It's time, your time. Look renewed. Feel rejuvenated. Visit Lisa Thomas Salon. Whether it's a new hairstyle, expertly applied makeup, skin treatments, or nail services, our professional stylists are up to date on all the latest techniques and styles to help you achieve the look you've always wanted. Find the you you deserve. Your transformation begins at Lisa Thomas. Bob's Auto Body and Repair in Blonde has been prospering since 1968 when Robert Warniak Sr. opened a business. Bob's goal? To go above and beyond to satisfy their customers. Whether it's a small ding or a major collision repair, Bob's is a trained technician and state-of-the-art equipment to meet the high standards their customers expect and that Bob's demands. Bob's also offers complete mechanical services for your automobile, from an oil change to brake repairs. Mention this ad, Bob's will detail your car for free with any auto body work or give you a free oil change with any mechanical work. Bob's Auto Body and Repair, Blue Island. Welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. Okay, time for High and Tight, brought to you by Midwest Orthopedic Consultants, two locations, Oaklawn and Orland Park. All right, three weeks ago, playoffs started. 20 local teams were in the football playoffs. We're down to one, that team being St. Lawrence. Who would have imagined at that time that St. Lawrence would be the last team standing? But, hey, a victory Saturday against Sacred Heart Griffin, and the Vikings will be going to Champaign for the state championship in 6A. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.